look at this. This is a Steam Deck doing above 30 frames 1080p right now onto an external display. This is amazing. What is up guys? Welcome back to another video and we're back here in our Franken Deck Steam Deck. But we are actually not using the graphics card whatsoever. Um, what we're doing today is we're going to look at lossless scaling on the Steam Deck. And I've been messing around with this for a day or two. And I am thoroughly, thoroughly impressed on the performance that this has. Hey, shut the fuck up. Shut up. Shut your mouth. You've already eaten. Performance this has been giving me it's it's pretty insane so we're playing space marines right now and we're playing on the native display and then we're going to go to the external display which is actually going to show you exactly how this thing how well it works so this is called lossless scaling it's not free it's six dollars on steam and i'm going to tell you right now it's worth six dollars so first caveat you have to be running windows we are running windows off this right now because we have the gpu installed we're, we're not even going to mess with that but i do want to test that out soon uh, with the gpu um configuration but right now we're just going to imagine this is just a bare bones steam deck obviously you're going to need a dongle keyboard and controller and running windows not hard to do very simple process um and you do not need to run off a usb adapter ssd thing of a bobber whatever you know what i'm talking about all right so Warhammer 40k Space Marines. Awesome game. Beautiful game. Awesome game. Right now, we are currently running 1280 by 800 quality FSR. And I think our, what is our graphics on? Everything's pretty much on low. And it's unplayable. This game is unplayable on the Steam Deck. See right here. We're at 22 frames. And this game plays like molasses like molasses um you can see that it is not good all right let's get into some type of action Ooh, a sword Oop, maybe not all right so you see here fighting here we're getting into the low teens easy low teens and it's it's i'm not gonna i'm not it's it's unplayable this is this is unplayable right now okay but simple if you're on Windows and you have lossless scaling enabled, this is the uni uh, interface for lossless scale scaling. And there's a lot of videos out here already on YouTube about using this, but I don't think there's one on the Steam Deck yet. And right now we're on LSFG 3.0 X2, so double the frames, and then um, S SGSR, which is the um, Snapdragon scaling, which seems to be the one working the best um and that's it this is the profile you hit scale here and you alt tab into here and i think i did it wrong because i think i'm in full screen we'll see okay nope i did it right so you see right here 1536 so what this program is doing is it's doubling the frame rate so right now our frame rate native is 18 and then the software is doubling it to 38 36 and you're probably thinking like there's no way um Yes way. Um, you'll see that ghosting effect around here. You'll see it. You see that like molasses kind of thing. That's the scaling. So it's doubling the frames. It's generating frames, which it makes it look kind of mushy um, a little bit. But this is way playable. Like we would took a playable game and we made it playable. Um, let's keep. How do I execute? R3 been a while since i played this like that looks good that looks ab like a above 30 frames for me um this is this is a game that if you cannot keep it above 30 frames it's very difficult to play this game it's very very difficult and let's just go a little bit more it's it's unplayable at 3x and i'll show you in a second so let's get into this fight scene see these people running our I remember on the left it says our active frames and then on the right are our actual frames our new frames because we're doubling it all and look how smooth that looks it looks good there is a little bit of latency um i can barely feel it it is definitely good um i can live with it easily uh but there is a bit of latency and you'll see that little you know jello effect 
uh, especially when you pan left and right, you kind of see that jello effect. You see that? Because it's generating frames. So let's show you real quick what it looks like on 3x. So you hit unscale, go to x3, and then we're going to 3x this frames, hit scale again, hit scale again, and tab back into the screen. And when this queues up here, so 15 frames, 18 frames, now it's saying 50 frames. Now let's go back into the game. You can see that. You see how bad that looks. That act, This actually lightweight makes me nauseous. It's so bad. You go in a straight line. It's not, it's not bad, but once you start turning, turning left and right, it gets pretty, pretty rough. And look, our normal frame rate is 15, but we're getting 48. This definitely feels like above 30, but you, you see how bad it is? It's, it's, it's literally nauseatingly bad. So X2 is the way to go. Now, I want to talk about what this is really, really, I think, should be intended for, and it's for external displays. So we, you see that it works well with X2. And now what I think the best use case for this is for an external display. So we're going to scoot over here. We're going to be rocking our 1080p 60 hertz OLED monitor here. Plug it into our dongle. And remember, we're not using the graphics card. You can tell because our stock frames are terrible. We're unscaled. We're here. What you have to do is you have to go to settings first and you go to video and you got to make sure you're in window mode. So we're in full screen. We're going to go window mode and we're going to drop the resolution down. So the technically doesn't have to work as hard. Um, I think it was 1024. Is this the right one? That looks right. Okay, so we're at 10, 1128, uh, 6 by 634. And then we're just going to play the game real quick and just show you that we're getting way better frames here because we're at, you know, we're at a much smaller resolution. And scaling is not on right now, it's not on whatsoever. And you can kind of tell that it's not on because it's a little jittery. I mean, this, for whatever reason, all these butthole looking things on the screen are definitely eating up a lot of bandwidth. So, we're just going to open up lossless scaling again. I'm going to change this from X3 to X2. And then we're just going to hit scale again. And then we're going to open up this tab. And in 3, 2, 1, it should open it up and blow it up into full screen. So now it's scaling up to the native resolution of the screen. So it's scaling up to. 1080p and it's also doubling the frames so right now we're getting about 40 frames um, you'll see that in the top left uh, 40 35 at 1080p now because it's scaling up to 1080p it's not like the best 1080p um, but it's putting a lot less effort on the system hardware because it's the system itself is generating 10 something by 628 and it's the software is bumping it up to 1080p so it's a lot less harder on the system from my understanding of how this works so in a nutshell guys like i can't i can't imagine like in a world where you have a steam deck um you're not using this you're not using it this is literally one game that we're testing it on um space marines which is literally an unplayable game on the steam deck now we're technically playing it at 1080p on an external display. Um, and if we don't want to, natively on the Steam Deck, we can keep it above, well above 30 frames with lots of scaling on. Obviously, the caveat is you need to download the app, you need to pay for it, which I think it's worth the $6 they're charging. And secondly, you need to be running Windows. It does not work on SteamOS currently. I'm sure they're going to come out with a fix for that um, soon, hopefully. Um, but this thing is really, it, it's a game changer. This thing is a game changer. Um, yeah, I spent so much time overclocking, attaching a GPU to a Steam Deck, and literally one program d d did everything. It literally took a minute to download. And it's, look at this. This is a Steam Deck doing above 30 frames, 1080p right now, onto an so external that is display. A lossless scaling this is amazing. On the Steam Deck. Guys, this thing is awesome. It's amazing. If you are running Windows, you definitely got to check it out. 
definitely worth it. Whether it's a Steam Deck, mini PC, older computer, I think those would work well with this. Um, it, you gotta check it out. But if you found this video entertaining, informative, please hit that like, hit that subscribe. I plan on making uh, quite a few more videos regarding this loss of scaling, especially with this particular Steam Deck. And I want to see how it actually works well with the, the mini PC and actually my main rig. I want to test that out as well. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.